Welcome to the world's largest open knowledge community. Professionals, academics and enthusiasts gathered at the Open Knowledge Festival to discuss how open knowledge can be put into best possible use in practice. The big three uh, advantages people cite for open data are um, sort of transparency and accountability, um, public sector efficiency and innovation, civic innovation. And all of these three things I've seen happening in developed countries and developing countries equally. But having data being open, it means that anyone, from a citizen to a journalist, to a corporation, to a government, can get that data and put it together without having to go through huge amounts of legal work or having to pay large amounts of money. I'm part of the Human Genome Project, and so that's a you know, huge project, global project, based, you know, it's pioneered releasing data before publication, a different way of doing science. We just had another burst of that a week and a half ago with the ENCODE project, releasing uh, another huge amount of data which informs how the human genome works. You know, it uses open source software for anal analysis. Um, so we've, we've seen far, far greater speed of development as a result of openness throughout that whole area. Game on. Game on. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have a live stream of, I believe, Utrecht, uh, Madrid, Netherlands, and Manchester, four other hackerspaces. And uh, the black spot is America, because we haven't woken up yet. <laughs> Open Knowledge Festival in Helsinki is an excellent example of how people can come together, share ideas, share best practice, and move the agenda forward. Can I tweet that? He's all that. If you didn't know, you better ask somebody. Oh, yeah! Let's get on with it. Over 100 guest program planners from across the globe produced a diverse community-focused program that was divided into 13 topic streams. We have gathered a lion's portion of streams and festival data that is available for you on the festival site. Please reference the summary for each topic stream to find out more about how they have been organized, who is involved, and what is the current state Disgusting. of no, the debate? No, it's, it's a constant. Population is more or less a constant. Uh, let me show you a little better uh, of this. I'll, I'll put this fantastic fishing rod here. Uh, I should speed it up a little and I'll show you the change over time. How the number of children who die is falling and they come down here and Mao Zedong now he starts a family planning program and they move about. But Latin America is following. This is Mexico. This is Brazil coming. And they don't care about the Pope. They use the condoms and they use the pills. Uh, and here comes, here comes Bangladesh. See the Muslim country Bangladesh start here. They are later. They are after India, but they are catching up in the absolute amazing way. Look at the Muslims here in the Middle East. They also start. This is Iran. They are really good in the bedroom, you know. They know how to plan it here. And they come and the world is changing completely, completely, completely. Can you see any difference between the developing and the developed world? No, it's gone. It's just a tattoo, tintin tattoo in your head, in your mindset. Now, there are differences still, military, economical. But what do we measure here? Here we measure the bedroom. We encourage you to try out sessions from all 13 topic streams to experience the full diversity of the collaboration. Open Democracy and Citizen Movement stream showcased how new online tools allow people to speak, be heard, find each other and take collective action in new ways. And have any idea how these are connected to other needs in society and resources we have. Transparency and Accountability Stream 
studied ways to ensure that people can find and use information of those in power in order to foster bottom-up change for sustainable development. In South Africa, um, fantastic work in Brazil around open data and again also famously participatory budgeting. So there's a number of different um, you know, exciting innovations that are coming from all around the world. So I think the real message is that this is not at all, at all the preserve of Western or OECD countries. Open City Stream, keynotes from the World Bank, the cities of Barcelona and Helsinki, and the European network of living labs preluded the discussion on how should future smart city infrastructures be designed and built to support openness and sustainability in their various forms. As uh, issues, citizens reporting issues, citizens collaborating there, and we feel that these people systems can definitely uh, complement the technological systems of the smart city. Open design, hardware, manufacturing and making stream showcased contemporary research and practice of these emerging fields in the form of workshops, keynotes and panels. Interesting developments business-wise, legal-wise and there's a whole ecosystem uh, starting up and that's really what we're going to explore. Open cultural heritage experts from around the world gathered to revise lessons learned from opening cultural data and to share know-how in order to take the discipline to the next level. Open Development Stream explored how the OK Fest community can engage with key development challenges from addressing chronic poverty to providing access to education and healthcare and addressing climate change and natural resources management. I wanted to, to comment on the last question because... It's not gonna be that easy. <laughs> Hi. How do you get poverty? We all moved to another planet. <laughs> Data being generated from the grassroots is, is key to all that. So I think once we understand that there's a collectiveness around it and that poverty is not universal, it's about, it's about exclusion, then I, I think we start thinking about how to end poverty from that perspective. Open research, science and education stream explored the value of open technology, open resources and collaborative peer learning. Can be named on our papers, and the papers are going to be big. I mean, these things are going to be important things yeah, that we're trying. For sure. For sure. Uh, we've already started writing the first malaria paper. There's about 20 people on it so far, but if people make contributions, they can be added to that. Open Geo Data Stream aims to facilitate new collaborations and connections between already strong geo information community and the open data movement. Open Source Software Stream discussed open procurement, best open source practices, fresh showcases, open mobile software and software freedom mitigating threats to openness. Data journalism and visualization combined these two closely related disciplines for hands-on practical sessions, discussions, demonstrations and debates in order to make you into a data journalist. If you've been on London tonight, you'll know it's made of steel, so the chances of it being on fire are very slim. But you know that rumour still went around uh, the web, and um, the great thing about the visualisation is it showed how the rumour grew, but then also the truth caught up. You know, Mark Twain uh, famously said that a lie can be halfway around the world before the truth has got its boots on. But now Twitter means actually that the truth can catch up a lot faster. Gender in diversity in openness stream was built around hands-on sessions focused on promoting discussion and inspiring action, showcasing both challenges and solutions regarding the roles of gender, diversity and accessibility within open data and open source movements. Business and Open Data Stream brought together business minds and academic minds to discuss how to build sustainable business using open data.
open knowledge and sustainability stream gathered together to figure out how openness can be used to adapt and change current paradigms in order to avoid the collapse of the environment. In this case we got data from Siemens about the city of Helsinki and the energy use and where the energy is coming from and how much carbon dioxide it is. This is the raw data that is quite difficult to, to understand and the idea is coding a, a, a more like easy to understand visualization that then you could change the variables and see how, how the future will, can, can change the, the emissions. A warm thank you for all the participants of Open Knowledge 2012. We hope to see you next year in Geneva at Open Knowledge Festival 2013. If you want to learn more, please take a look at the Open Knowledge 2012 video archive, which contains all the presentations of all the 13 topic streams. Please get involved in the world's largest Open Knowledge community.